Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. Everybody, welcome to Leet Wine TV. I'm your host, Mark Fusco, here for another episode of the show. So uh, we're going over to South Africa for uh, today's wine. Um, bought a lot of this stuff. A lot of, I think all of this is world market stuff. So I uh, was over there, and that's kind of how I do it. I go figure out, buy a bunch of wine, and uh, do it. So anyway, so let's get right into this. This is the Man Vintners uh, 2009 Chenin Blanc. Um, this is from the coastal region of South Africa. Now, with um, with South African wines, a lot of times the the, the main, I guess, uh, appellation that I that I'm used to seeing. Oh, sorry, bought this five. I'm sorry, four ninety nine at World Market. It regularly sells for five ninety nine. Okay, and uh, boom. So anyway, um, Stellenbosch is like the one that I kind of seem to know more than anything else. Um, but this is another area um, of South Africa. It's kind of on the, well, most of the winemaking area is in the western cape of South Africa, but this is in the western kind of central part of that area, or for your perspective. Maybe I'll remember to put a map up. Who knows? Um, anyway, so um, the, uh, the name of the wine, Man, M-A-N, is actually the um, and first initials of the wives of the um, of the winemakers, and I'm going to hit click the about us because I don't think I'm going to remember all their names properly. Let's see, it's I know it's Marie, I want to say Anne and Annette and Nikki. Um, so we got three guys that uh, from looking at their their uh, bios, they have other stuff, but this is kind of like the little side project that they that they do. Um, but they do other stuff, uh, mostly in wine. But um, the guys that are behind are Jose Conde, and then you have these brothers named uh, Tyrol Myberg and Philip Myberg, uh, and they are M, A, and N in that order. So Marie's husband is Jose, and that's husband is Tyrol and um, uh, uh, Nikki. How can I not? Sorry. Nikki's uh, husband is Philip. All right, so... Um, they have several wines that they do, and they source their wines um, in the Parl area of the coastal region. That's P-A-A-R-L. It's Pearl in Dutch. And um, they, uh, they have several wines that they do, and they source all their grapes, or almost all their grapes are sourced from the Parl area. Now, they mentioned something about, oh, I didn't take my afternoon nap today. <laughs> so um, uh, they mentioned something about Arg, let's see, here we go, let me get the fact sheet. And I can't really find this specific area, but the Agter Parl region. Well, Agter doesn't really come up anywhere on all the, when you're looking up for wine stuff, but Parl does, and Parl's, like I said, kind of in that central, part of the central coast. So anyway, um, Chenin Blanc is also known as Steen in South Africa. Um, so if you see a wine bottle, that uh, says Steen on it, says Chenin Blanc, it's the same grape. All right, so um, this particular wine um, is well, 100% Chenin Blanc, and they, well, they produce 22,000 cases, but what they do is they use free-run juice. So let's go over what free-run juice is. Free-run is actually just, uh, they don't press the grapes, so they put all the grapes into the, into the press, well, not really a press, a, a vat or container, and they let gravity um, press the grapes so they don't physically press it it's a kind of a gentler way of, of getting the juice out so um anyway let's get right into this wine from south africa now i can tell you man i've been, I've been getting some of the aromatics off of this really since i opened it um so it's really these are the types of white wines i really love because i get aromatics sometimes with white wines i don't get anything and it really 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 
disappoints me when I can't get anything off of, off of a white wine. But I'm going to go with this. It's more of a floral, more floral than anything else. But I get a little bit of fruit, kind of tropical fruity. Maybe a little pineapple in there. But it's kind of that generic floral, maybe white flower type of stuff. I can't be more specific than that. Let's go and taste it. So, I get this, I don't know, it's just a nice flavor to it. Um, not really sweet, it's got, it's kind of, you know, it's got good acid to it. I'd say about medium to medium high acid. But I get this, I want to say that I, I got some of that pineapple still on the palate. But, and I believe it, it is, it is um, fermented on leaves, but I don't, or, or stored on leaves, but maybe not. Maybe one of the other wines was, but it kind of felt like it had this um, tart quality that, that you get, especially with Chenin Blanc, and if it's on the leaves, which is dead yeast. Um, and uh, I thought they said they did that, but I, I get that kind of, well, it, it is crisp, I mean, I get that. They talk about tropical fruit, guava, melon, bold sweet citrus. I get the citrus more than anything else. Now, I was getting pineapple, so tropical fruit, um, but it's pretty tart. Uh, I find it pretty refreshing, really good acid. I, you know, medium to medium, actually probably on medium high acid, which is really good for white wines. I like that. It, it feels refreshing. And this is at room temperature, so imagine it's slightly chilled. Chilled? Chilled. And, uh, yeah. Okay. So one of the lights just went out. And I don't know how that's going to affect the green screen back here. It may, you may be seeing the green screen right now. And I don't know why the light is out. Hmm, I wonder if that has to do with the wax paper. The other lights are doing just fine, but that one just went out. And I have backup bulbs, so that's what's going to happen. I'll probably have to take a little break here, let the lights cool down, and put a new bulb in, which I'm really kind of disappointed about. They only lasted a short period of time. But anyway, so um, uh, really good. I, I like it a lot. It's pretty refreshing, and uh, I totally would recommend this wine, um, especially for 5 to $6. I mean, I think it's a... I think it's really, really good. Um, if I was going to score, well, score-wise, I'd probably give it, I'd give it like an 89. I think it's a really well-made wine. The acid's really good. The flavors are good. There's nothing kind of, there's nothing disjointed about it. It's pretty balanced. Um, and I, and I, I get that kind of, uh, that yeasty a little bit, a little bit of yeasty taste. I think that's pretty nice. Um, would I be able to tell us from South Africa? Probably wouldn't. But um, that's, I'm still working on all my figuring out where things are. But uh, yeah, buy it if you can find it. Which In World Market, you should be able to find it. Outside of that, I'm not really sure. But um, yeah, good stuff. All right, so uh, if you've had the wine, come by the website. Click the, you know, uh, hit the comments below. Uh, click the link. I'll have a link to the, to the website, so click that below. Uh, friend me up up top. Hit the donate button. And uh, you'll notice that the numbers changed up there. I uh, actually changed a couple episodes ago. I had to delay the, the big idea. Not had to, but I felt that I need to because I need a little more time to get things uh, worked out and uh, better planning. So anyway, um, stay tuned for that in a few months. But uh, yeah, good stuff. Buy it if you can find it. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see everyone again next time.